basically today we are going to be doing her top five favorite shoes and also we're going to be doing some seven top seven because I, I had so many I couldn't choose so we have to do seven we have to do but seven. I'll be real quick so how many all up do you actually have about 170 pairs 170 pairs of shoes we're only doing seven so if you love this so much then we will have to there's do more. more guys yeah there's more basically let's get started We've also got some Twitter questions, but we're going to answer those later. First of all, Mum is literally beside herself about these shoes. So, Mum, bring out the first pair. Okay, my first pair of, well, they're actually boots, are these puppies. These now, are platform these shoes. These are nine and a half inch platform boots. And look, how tall are you? Five foot five, five foot four? Yep, yeah, so when I go to the loo and I stand up in the toilets, I can touch the roof. And also when I drive, I drive really fast and I stop really quick. And um, she drives a manual. Yeah, and so they've got a zip here so that, you know, you, it's easy on and off. And um, they're really cool and they look like, hello Jerry. They look like they're hard to walk in, but they're actually not because they're platform. And so one thing I don't wear and don't own are stilettos because like they're so girly and I can't walk in those. And I got these online and I can't remember where, but it was in Sydney and it was a shop for drag queens. They were, I think I paid like 200 and something. That's good. But I've had these for a long, long time yeah. and I love them. I love them. My next shoe is also a boot. Yeah, mum, you're gonna be seeing lots of boots, now, all right? I, yeah. and I was really, really excited because I went to the Miley Cyrus concert. Oh, Mia. Mia! Yes. What? Come on, what do you want? Oh my God. Is there any more Nutella left? Any more Nutella? Can yeah. you ask properly with your manners? Well, is, it, is there any more Nutella left, please? No, there isn't. Oh. Just get out. We're done right. the video. All right. It's not about you. All right. Sorry about that. So I went to the Miley Cyrus concert by myself and I was so excited when she came on stage with her dance troupe wearing these. Which is what I had at home in my cupboard. Now these have got to be one of my faves. They are Adidas um, in collab with Jeremy Scott who is a New York fashion designer. Picture here. <laughs> and he's my all-time favorite and they are so so comfortable because you've got the adidas um, you know cushion air sole and they're really really comfy inside as well and they're cool because you can wear them with jeans and then it covers this part or like I do wear them with like a short skirt so you get the full effect so it's kind of like a cowboy meets sports field really isn't it mm. how much were those these were, I got them online um, from the Adidas shop in New York and I think they were around about close to 300 with shipping. Yeah. But you can't get them here. No. And it's kind of can like... Can you still get them? Yes, you can. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was kind of like, it was like I saw them, I wanted them. Mm. And I tried not to, I tried to forget about them, but I just had dreams about them. <laughs> and then I felt really bad, but I got them and then I saw Miley wearing them and I was like, meant to be. It's meant to be, love Miley. Bangers. Next shoe is these, which are Doc Martens. Yeah, we both love Doc Martens. We love them so much. Now, these, the cool thing about these is they're made out of, I don't know if you can tell, but it's rubber. Oh, yeah, so they're like are. gum boots. Yeah, yeah, it feels like gum boots. Gum okay, boots. yeah. And on the inside, there's like, like gum boots. They're fluffy. Yeah, it's, that's so weird. So, to put them on, you just like slip your foot in like a gum boot. So, they're really cool because they don't scratch and obviously are waterproof and really spongy as well like they are the softest docks ever and i got these um in town in auckland here yep and i think they were around about the same usual dog mountain price like 320 like, yeah something like 280 that. yeah but these were limited edition they also had them in black and white but i glad got, you got red i've got so much black and white mm. that i thought i'd just go with the red instead so yeah i love these it smell like gumboots. Next, oh, these I love. Mum wears these all the time. These are also again Jeremy Scott. I keep you in business, by the way. And these are called, and these are called the totems. And you can still get them, but they're really, really hard to find. Um, and I found these online. I think I got them on eBay. I think somebody bought them and they didn't fit. Yeah. So they were like, oh, so I was like, really? I can't fit them, I've tried binding my toes, but... Are those the shoes that you ordered and someone stole them at our front No, porch? no, I never got them back. No. 
What were, was it those? They were Jeremy Scott's, but they weren't these ones. Oh my god. I that was, right. That's a story time. But do you want to know something even excitinger? Yeah. These. <laughs> Go with <laughs> these. <laughs> yeah, baby. Adidas. <laughs> Look, totem. Look. Wow. Matchy, matchy. <laughs> And I've also got the jacket to this too. Yes, she wears that all, all the time. time. When all I want to sort of not stand out. I yeah, when you want to be a bit plain. A bit incognito. Yeah. Otherwise people go, are you carrying potatoes? And I'm like, no, I'm not. Next one is bloody hair. Boots again. Oh. oh my god, these are so heavy. They are so heavy. These are New Rock. I got these in Sydney. They are so, so heavy. They're kind of like... If you go to the gym, oh my god! If yeah. you go to the gym and do squats and do pump class, just quit and get these because when you walk in these, you have such a leg workout. You yeah. have like thighs that could crunch watermelons, and they're really chunky at the back. Yeah. And I do love them, and they look like they're really uncomfortable, but they're actually not. They're actually like super comfortable, and honestly, will last forever because they're real leather. And these were up there they were like 400 bucks Jeez. i know i know so we didn't eat for three weeks it was that week we had nothing to eat it's when we only just had toast we had toast and pasta for the Fresh rest of our lives and apples yeah because i got these yep worth it though because they're good Let's talk about them. yes okay so this you might know the story you might already know uh, the story I won't talk about it for too long i'll link the story down below if you want to hear about this these also are Jeremy Scott, <laughs> given to me by a balloon blowing clown <laughs> who kind of liked me. He bought them for me. Yeah, they're really nice. Thank you very much. That's all I'll he, say. He hand delivered them from New York to New Zealand. Yes, anyway, she'll put that link below. Below. You don't know what we're talking about. And yeah. It's a cool story. It's, it's true. Yeah, it's terrible. So, and the next, okay, the last shoes. These are my, are my favorites. These are my favorites too. And I'm so gutted because. Yoshi chewed mine and I if he chews mine he becomes a max yep <laughs> in the toilet I swear to god but yeah I love these shoes too these are our ultimate favorites if you were gonna break into a house or something you would not wear these shoes no because they've got lollies in them and they make a noise when you walk so I've gone for M&Ms and what you do is you take the, this part out yep and there's a little hole and you put the lollies in. They are waterproof and basically, you know, if you go to the movies or whatever and you run out of popcorn, mm. you just take your shoe off and you just... Um, got diabetes, you've got your... Yeah, if, yeah, if you're you've got your type ready. one and you need insulin, it's right here. Exactly. In your shoe. And you don't just have to put lollies in, you can put all sorts in. No, um, so when I saw them online, somebody had really cool, and I think I will do it, is um, Barbie doll heads. Yeah, that's so that cool. amazing. Yeah. So I was thinking, Mia, how she's got all those um, monster high dogs. <gasps> Perfect. Perfect. She loves those, but you know, she's yeah, a little too bad. And these were from Dolls Kill. Now, Dolls Kill, if you haven't been there, is like the best place to buy shoes, yeah. eh? It's yeah. so, so cool. But the brand's Why Are You? Yeah, which and is. And you love Why Are You? You've actually got a few shoes by Why Are You. So. Yeah, Why Are You? Yeah. yeah. And so, Dolls Kill stock all the Why Are You stuff. Yeah. And I remember we just waited and waited forever for these to come. I was so, so happy when I came. Get them in black as well. And keep, people keep saying to me, Oh, I know. You should put a fish in there with water. Well, that's just abuse of an animal. That's actually, um... That's, Why would you do that? That's actually what I like to call animal abuse. So, yes. so I basically, love these. that's my favorite shoe shoes. collection. Well, no, there's more, but like I say, you didn't give me like three hours, so... Yeah, sorry. sorry. Well, if you guys liked this... You missed out. If you guys liked this video so much, you, and you want a part two, let us know, because mum will be very happy. I've got good clothes, too. I could do a look. But oh, yeah. Thinking? Yes. Yeah. I've got some new clothes, too. We could I do... Know, that's very nice. Thank you. This is from Cotton On. All right, so also mum... Not sponsored. So we're not done, mum. Don't go away yet. Don't cook tea yet. No, we're getting takeaways. Are we actually having pizza? Um, my lovely, beautiful friends on Twitter have sent me some questions to ask you because I told them that you are Dr. Shu. And I asked half an hour ago, we've got 24 comments. So from- We're not gonna answer 24 questions. No, we'll answer how many would you like to answer? Like Three. seven? No. Four. Come on, look at Lani. She's got so many beautiful questions. Lani. Oh. What's your favorite design on shoes? I don't know if I have a favorite design. I like, I mean, I love retro stuff and hippie stuff. So I mean, I'm kind of attracted to peace signs and hearts mm. and- Dots? You love and dots. I love dots. Yes. I love dots. Yeah. And stars. But yeah, it's more the colour, I like the colourfulness more than anything. This is a good one. 
What is your newest pair of shoes? I'm wearing them right now. Oh, okay. I got them yesterday. These, um, can you see them? Yep. They're boots and they go all the way up. So they go all the way up your legs. So they're kind of like, I don't suit those. And you feel it's really soft. Yeah, that's really nice. It's like velvet. Yeah, so it's velvet. And yeah, they arrived yesterday. And they were just cheapies from AliExpress, to be honest. How much were they? They were like $11.50 with free shipping. So they'll last me probably two weeks. Yeah. Sorry, Ali. So, laced or Velcro? Oh! Well, I've got lots of Velcro, but no, <laughs> laced, definitely. Mia can't tie shoes, so all yeah. her shoes have to be Velcros. Um, what is her most expensive pair of shoes? Um, they would have to be the um, motorcycle boots. The ones that are like four Oh, no. no. These more. I'm sure there's one. No. You I'll tell you, in um, Sydney, remember the D DKNYs? <gasps> yes. But those aren't really that cool looking. They're just it's really Donna expensive. It's in New York, so you're paying for the name, but yeah. they're beautiful. And they're like, when I got them, I slept with them under my pillow. She because did. I love them so much. <laughs> and they were like... It was like $600, yes. Dad doesn't watch your videos, eh? No. How many Birkenstocks do you own? None. What's your favourite go-to shoe? Um, it'll be my black boots, my black fades, that I had when I was, I got when I was like 19. Is that the one that you keep fixing over and over yeah. and over and yeah. over? Oh, okay. The like, heel keeps coming off because I wear them so much. They're my go-tos, they're my favourites, they're my good luck boots. Their platform as well, and they're not as high as those ones. How mm. high are they? They're like, oh, they're about that high. But they're just super comfortable and... um. They might, you know, if there was a fire in the house, I think I'd get them and then I'd get Jerry. You and then. Yeah, me. Oh, I'd get those boot, those lolly boots and then I'd get me. <laughs> nah. I'm joking. What's your least favourite type of shoe? Um, jandals. I don't walk well in jandals. And stilettos. Them really, and stilettos. She like, hates stilettos. Can't wear stilettos at all. I think they're really super as ugly. Yeah. I hate stilettos too. I can't stand them. Why is your mum the coolest mum ever? I don't know. I just grew up this way. <laughs> what age did you start really getting into shoes and collecting them? Uh, Lots I've, of love from Scotland. Oh, thanks Scotland. Um, I've always loved shoes. Always, always, always. Ever since she was a little girl? Yeah. They were just, um, my favouritest thing. And I've just thought, and the thing is, is that when I get shoes, like, I've still got shoes that I had when I was, like, a teenager. I don't ever throw shoes away. No. Because they always come back in fashion. That's, That's why I've got so many. I just keep them all, yeah. Like, nomads, they came back? I've got nomads, yeah. What was the other thing that everyone had when you did? Treks. Yeah, treks and nomads. Now, I'm going to put... Look them up. They're just, they're so retro cool. I'm going to put a photo up next to Mum. Um, what do you think about these shoes? Well, no. They're not... I don't think they're that cool. I don't, I don't know what I, they are. I don't think I would get them. It looks like some designer is just halfway through an idea. <laughs> yeah. And I don't think, I think the wind would catch them. They're it would, eh? They, they, they look floppy. Is it illegal to throw your shoes in the washing machine because I do it all the time? It's not illegal, it's unhygienic. That's disgusting. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> you wash your undies, you walk on a dirty floor and dirty road, you want to put your shoes in the washing machine where you're putting your undies and your tops that's close to your body? One word, thrush. So what's your favourite brand of shoe? Jeremy um, Scott. Jeremy Scott, hands down. Yeah, yeah. so just Happy overall. Happy to collab with him at any stage. If he wants to hit me up, that's fine. No, he's my, he's my favourite. I love his stuff. What does she like most about shoes? Um, I like it that you can... Go away, please. You don't know. I like it that through shoes you can sort of like show your personality. Mm, true. You know? And I go for the wild, crazy ones because I just think, you know, it's a good way to express yourself. And yeah. why should you be the same as everybody else? Why everyone when we are the same as everybody else? Exactly. Um, when there is so much out there that's different and, you know, yeah. express yourself, girl. How does she have the confidence to wear such wild looking shoes? And where can I get that confidence? Um, yeah, it comes from within. You've just got to be, um, you've just got to live, basically, and live for yourself and not for everybody else. Mm. And Good on you. And do what you want to do because there's only one of you. Yeah. Do people she doesn't know randomly make positive or negative yeah. comments always, on the shoes? Always positive. Um, especially when I wear the high ones. Mm, yeah, yeah you do. Too, like shoes can be conversation starters. In the car at the lights, tooting and waving at me, pointing to my shoes. When I wear those um, dolls, cool ones that you bought me with the rainbow stripes. Oh which yes. Which I really wanted to show, but that might have to be in part. That two. part two. We'll have to explain yeah. what Mum's talking about. So they love those. So yeah, I mean, I and I think it's good because people talk to you. Mm, and that's good. That's how you make friends. 
throw shoes, you can make friends. Yeah. Alright guys, so that is basically it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this shoe collection video. Let us know if you would like a part two. Um, and don't even know I've got a pimple, I already know that. You know yeah. everyone that's, that goes, ah. Oh. I know, I'll just be a bitch and I'll say something really awful about that person. So I, I know up, I've got one, I'm saving it to pop for um, Dr. Pimple Popper. I put this photo up of me, hold on. This photo. And everyone's going, I love you babe, but you've got food in your teeth. And I know. I didn't even know. Isn't that stupid? And it just looks like my gum. It's like, before you type something, think about, would I say that to that person? to their face. Yeah, come on guys. Would you say that? No, yeah. you wouldn't. If you yeah. want to say it, don't type it. Okay. Oh. It's just a lesson yeah. from the mom. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hope to see you all again very soon. So how do you mom for me? Hi mom. Hi. And yeah, we'll see you all again very soon. Um, stay groovy. We got anything to say? Mm. Bye shoes. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Bye!